It's so hard to find a straight man that is confident enough to compliment me on my looks. <laughs> nice balls! <laughs> I was wondering if any of you would be interested in uh, one nightstand. We don't know. Oh my would you be interested? God. No. <laughs> you know, you can have my cock. No! <laughs> I'd have to give you a cream pie though. No! You want a cream pie? You and I realized I don't really want a boyfriend at the moment and I just wanted to like, yeah, with different people. How many people? Probably 300. <laughs> Jesus! The types of women that will cheat and act promiscuous in her prime. What's your body count? I would say like 150. Oh! God damn! Yeah, like almost, almost like 200. Yeah. It's the exact same type of woman that will blame men and say, where did all the good men go? quality of men that are like into me has gone down because like they don't want to be seen with a girl that's like Hurry. on the internet having sex yeah. so that's been hard Doubles. um do you think they're wrong for that or does that make sense no, to you i don't think they're wrong at all i don't think there's anything wrong with not wanting to be with someone that has done porn. Yeah. i think that's like that's completely understandable yeah so i don't blame anyone else but myself yeah i mean sh yeah that's <laughs> You're dating younger women and you're kind of like damaging them at a young mm. age. So now when we get to our 30s, we're completely damaged by our older yep. men. And now we don't want y'all and y'all don't want us. The man is 40, 45, let's say. Now he has his money, his house. <laughs> now he got time to go live his best life. Now he wants to date younger women. Right. Let's say a 21 year old. Now he dates her for four years. While he's dating her, he's cheating with other 19, 20, 25 year olds. You're damaging this young girl, right? You're causing trauma and damage that's gonna cost her pretty much years to heal. Fast forward years later, she's 30, she's damaged. Wait a minute, this is me searching my pockets for a fuck to give. Years later, she's 30. She's damaged. All because a 40 year old wants to be living his best life after he built himself. Now the million dollar question that I have for this girl is that why can't she date men her age? But I already know the answer. Because I am Asian and I am an absolute genius and I have never made a mathematical error in my life. She does not want to date younger men because younger men are broke and they are absolutely invisible to her because younger guys cannot provide her that lifestyle that she wants. That's why she goes for older guys. And whose fault is that? This woman is blaming everybody else but herself. Isn't that funny? Because wasn't this cream guzzler living her best life when she was in her prime too? This was probably her when she was young. What's her high school or college confession? I'm a whore. That's it? That's, that's it. the confession? That's it? That's it. Fatherless behavior. Sort of got on the dating apps and then and I realized I don't really want a boyfriend at the moment and I just wanted to like, yeah, with different people so let's say it's been like a year since you've really embraced that how many people probably 300 <laughs> jesus would that be the average in a day five it's just fun holy shit i slept with 300 people in a year haters say i'm disgusting but i feel empowered really that's what empowers you remember this that feminists fought for many years for the right to vote, the right to be treated equally, the right for other things that I don't care about. And they were empowered. They were empowered to do those things. And now you're empowered because you're full up like a fucking Boston crane. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Annie Knight. That's for me. I prefer two at once. <laughs> Three doublers. Now, according to Cheek Slaying Genesis 101, it states, these ass clapalation scriptures has never told a lie. If her father never stayed in her life, then why should I? Yeah! 
All right, so today I want to do a loyalty test with y'all. Okay, we don't need to do that. We know we're not cheating. I mean, like, you ain't with nobody. I'm not with nobody else. Who is Derek, though? Our messages right here about uh, meeting up. Again, it's just the client that I meet with. Okay. Um, so he why just did plays Derek be testing you at 3.42 last night? That's in the morning, though. It is, but I have my phone on Do Not Disturb because I'm laying with you, so. You mind if we call Derek real quick? I don't think he's available right now, so I don't think it'd be a good yeah, idea. Saying, you mind if we call him, though? Why are you so nervous? I, I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I don't think that. Hey, you know, this is my man, you know that. We're just playing around. Um, he just wants to make sure that we're not, you know, that we're not with each other, that you and I. Are you my girl? Yes, I meant your girl. Oh, be serious. You I'm dead serious. Now let's, let's, let's talk for real. No, no, let's, let's, let's get with this for real. The truth of the matter is that if I'm f***ing him, it's helping us make us further. It's helping to take us further. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do you gonna stay right with me because you know you want this just like he do, like everybody I meet. They want a piece of this. You know what? I can do whatever I want. You still gonna come right back. No, no, no. He said he don't want you. He don't want me. Did you forget? Did you forget? Get out of my house. Did you forget that? Did you forget that we put that mortgage in my name? That you financially responsible for? Did you forget about that? At the end of the day, I got the house. I, my name is on all the bank accounts. So you think that you can walk away that easily? Let this be a learning lesson. Never put anything under a woman's name. Always put it under your name. This is what she's going to do. She's going to use it as manipulation. During these ages and stages in your life, why not cash in now to get the best dude that you can possibly get? Versus, versus when you're 30 years old and you get a dude, let's say you can get a dude right now who's, I don't know, because closer 90% to your ideal dude, but when you get 30, you might get a dude that's 60% to your ideal you, dude. You have to find your maturity to be able to be ready for that. And gotcha. for girls, you have to go through things like little relationships, little hookups. You have to go through so much emotions that you eventually sit down one day and you're like, cool, I'm cool to find someone to sit down with for the rest of my life. And that's yeah. maybe how it's supposed to happen. Is it going to happen like that for everybody? No. I wouldn't okay. say our value like, decreases as we get older. I think we become valuable in different ways. No, false. Uh, false. Uh, when I say value, again, I don't mean but, you specifically to the world. I mean you specifically to the opposite sex. Just imagine having a train ran on you and trying to convince yourself that you have added some kind of value as a woman, that is just blasphemous. Now, any man with half a brain cell will understand not to wife up a community cum bucket, but you'd be surprised. Would you marry a woman that slept with 100 men? Yes. Would you marry a woman that slept with 500 men? Yes, it's absolutely just the case of... A woman, a woman that slept with 1,000 men, would you really marry her? The fact they've slept with 1,000 men won't change it. Us men do not accept or take this guy in as our own. We pass him on to the transsexual community because I'm not sure if this guy is autistic, deaf, or the final boss of Sims, or he's just a man who is fond of exploring caves. Oh, oh no. Oh, for fuck's sake. Gentlemen, a wise man once said, Women are the gatekeepers to sex, while men are the gatekeepers to relationships. Women sleep with whoever they want, but men sleep with who they can. But men, we marry whoever we want, but women, they marry whoever they can. What's the lowest amount of money a guy should spend on a wedding ring for you? Oh, it should be like for sure 30, 40K. Yeah. We have standards here. Yeah, that's the standard. <laughs> would you be? Would you have been a little upset if it was 10K? Yeah, probably. This girl also needs an additional 10K in upgrades. And I'm talking about the chest area. Because have you guys ever noticed the girls with the flattest pair of tits always have the most to say. Like, damn, have you gotten everything off your chest already? Because of four, asking for 40K rings. That is female logic to you guys. 
One plus one to them is potatoes. Uh, I make too much money to let that shit happen. How much money do you, what that, what, what, how much money you make? A year. 30,000 a year. Okay. How much? 30,000 a year. You're broke! You're fucking poor! How much money do you make at the end of the year? I make 14,000 a month. I'm not impressed. I didn't ask you for your price, but I told you how much I make a month. Good for you. How do you okay, make that in a month? Deja, deja uh, I sell solar. Solar? Solar, yeah. So you make 14 okay, grand a month? Yes. Isaac, what the hell? Oh my god, dude. <gasps> what was that for? I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Anna, wait, are you texting my boyfriend? Because I heard you've been with him. What? Yeah. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You won't step right here, I promise you that. Go ahead, I do. Now what? What are you gonna do? Nike. Fucking thing. Hey, you better keep moving, brother. Or what? Gonna, what are you gonna do? It's gonna be you a problem. You keep talking, but you ain't doing nothing. It's gonna be a big problem. Yeah, it is. Don't touch my stomach with your stomach, because that's gonna be a problem. Go ahead, do something, I dare you. I just want you to keep it moving, brother. I want you to grab my balls. I bet you do, you little fucking homo.